As a wind power generation company, the mass and their components, including rotor, main bearing, gearbox, and generator, are our main assets. However, the performance of a turbine can be affected due to some unexpected scenarios like malfunctions of the components, loosening of wages, or fatigue damage, which can cause our machines to break down. Why asset maintenance and reliability are so important? During the operational phase of the life cycles of the asset, a company can face under-maintenance or over-maintenance problems. Maintenance is a business expense that can cut into the profits of the company. Overdoing it can bring significant costs. On the other hand, under-maintenance can lead to reduced productivity. By designing a suitable maintenance plan, it will help to improve the equipment life and avoid any unplanned maintenance activity. Reliability of every component plays a significant role in ensuring the system to function properly. Asset reliability can be increased by optimizing the maintenance strategies. Therefore, the objectives of maintenance and reliability is to maintain the capabilities of the system while controlling the cost. The head formation, additional methods can be divided into model based methods and data driven methods. I will introduce this model based methods. Model based methods is also known as physics of failure methods that perform reliability prognosis using equipment, physical models, and damage from propagation models. Model-based methods have been reported for analyzing component reliability such as bearings and gearboxes. The key limitation of the model-based methods is that for some components or systems, authentic physics of failure models are very difficult to build because equipment damage propagation processes and dynamic responses are very complex. Data-driven methods directly utilize the collected condition monitoring data for health condition prediction and do not require physics of failure methods. Data-driven methods include proportional hazards model, Bayesian Bayesian prognosis methods, and MANN based prognosis methods. Uh, we will be focusing on and best methods. This is the equation of later failure time TP at the current inspection point. This is the predicted failure time and this is the standard equation of predicted failure time. Preventive maintenance is a maintenance method that is widely used to perform on a piece of equipment to reduce the probability of its failing. It is performed while the equipment is still working to prevent an expected breakdown that will bring huge amount of loss to the company. Usually, preventive maintenance are scheduled based on two factors, time-based and usage-based. For time-based, regular inspection on a critical phase of equipment that will severely impact production in the event of a breakdown. Usage-based will <coughs> occur after a certain amount of work was done, such as kilometer travel or production cycle carried out. To implement pre preventive method, we need to know that when to service the machine or in other words, predict its fatality. Generally, preventive maintenance methods are suitable for equipments that have high possibility of fatality. So, to have a further view into this method, we are going to study four key elements, which are the rotor, wind bearing, gearbox, and generator of a group of five wind turbines. The age of each component was reset to zero when replaced. The cost of each component under both methods are shown in the table below. In 
order to obtain the optimal preventive maintenance interval and its corresponding optimal cost, we will need to plot the cost per day versus preventive maintenance intervals graph. So, to plot the graph, two values are needed, which are the total expected maintenance cost and the total cost of a preventive maintenance replacement. Data from the table will be sucked into these two equations for us to plot the graph. also known as CDI, is actually a maintenance system that monitors the actual condition of an asset to decide what maintenance has to be done. The ultimate goal for CDI is to monitor and spot upcoming equipment failure so that maintenance can be scheduled when needed. The benefits and also known as the advantages of the CDI is actually since CDI is conducted before the failure, so it can lessen the charge of disruption to normal operations and it reduces the cost of asset failure, also improves the equipment reliability. However, there are also certain disadvantages for CDM, which is the high installation cost and also unpredictable maintenance period. Today, I'm going to discuss about the solution method of condition-based maintenance, which is known as CDM. So, to perform it, you need to follow a few steps. Which is step one, building the annual neural network, which is ANN, prediction model. Then step two, to initialize the simulation. Step three is to identify the component health conditions, prognostic, and to perform the failure probability calculation. Step four is the CMB decision making, cost update, component age, and real failure time value updates. If the current time ABS has not exceeded the maximum simulation time, which is Tmax. Repeat step 3 and 4, where the maximum simulation time is reached, which is Tabs equals to Tmax. Then we have finally start the final step, which is step 5, calculate okay, the total expected replacement cost, which is CD, and then we completed our solution methods on CD. CBA method gives $577.08 per day of optimum maintenance cost with a cost saving of 44.42% can be achieved compared to PM method. Therefore, our proposed maintenance approach is the CBA method to be used together with NNN, the component help pronostic method which can reduce the overall maintenance cost of our company.